What's up guys welcome back to rooms for you today let's look at latest rom kitty pro symbol version 12.6 edition based upon Xiaomi EU after announcing the discontinuation of rom kitty pro build this is the first build from developer so let's see how does it performs To begin with, let's quickly get into about phone session. A MIUI version is ROM KT Pro symbol version 12.6 and under all specs this CPU is overclocked with 2.9 GHz. Android version is 11. A MIUI version is ROM KT Pro symbol version 12.6 based upon Xiaomi EU. As you see the MI version is based upon a beta build from Xiaomi EU. Security patch coupled here is from 1st December 2021. Kernel coupled here is as usual the DAG version 2.8 which is based upon Linux 4.9. Since it is the usual MIUI, I won't be covering each and every specifications. First let's quickly get into always on display. There are many people who is fan of this feature. And yeah, you will be able to enable or disable always on display on this ROM. And after enabling always on display, the experience was not that much great. My phone was totally frozen, which led me to reboot the phone forcefully. After rebooting the phone once, I didn't notice any issues with always on display anymore. It might be the first time when we will set it up always on display. But anyway, you should keep this in mind. When you come to quick settings panel, the ROM does got the latest control center model and it is very much responsive. I didn't notice any lags or jitters. The screen recorder is present and it is not capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. But even though that is the case, after enabling screen recorder, I was facing minor lags in app opening and closing animations. Moving forward, the ROM does come out with MIUI stock cam. Almost all the features are working without any, but as its previous build, the slow motion is broken here. You may need to rely on any third party applications if you want the slow motion feature. Moving forward, under recent menu, there is option for floating window. After selecting floating window, you will be able to add any application into the window. The option is working without any issue. Let's quickly check the security side of this ROM. Safety net is out of the box failed for this build. The reason behind this failure is the, this ROM is rooted out of the box. And yeah, you will be able to find a Majesk application in it. Maybe after hiding the images completely, you may able to pass safety net checks. But I am not going to perform those steps here now, since I have already made many videos with it. Since it is rooted and safety net is not passing, the ROM is also not Google Play Protect certified. Now let's quickly see what does this ROM can offer in terms of benchmarks. Since it is MIUI and no thermals to select and to scores 3,95,000 plus, which is of course decent scores for Snapdragon 845. And when you come to Geekbench for single core 509 and multi core 949. I'm not so sure why does this multi-core is scoring very much less. To understand more about performance, I did do a 30-minute CPU throttling test. And the result was not that much pleasing one. The ROM was only managed to get maximum GAPS value of 1 lakh plus. It did only pull out average value of 99,000 plus. Of course, the graphs are in green because the maximum and minimum value are almost near. There are many ROMs available out there for POCO F1 which can offer 2 lakh plus GAPS value, even from ROM KT Pro builds. If you are someone who love to use YouTube vents, this ROM does also come out with the app by default and you can use it without any issue. As you see, the ROM does also support IR face unlock as well as the fingerprint. Both are working without any issue. In fact, they are pretty much fast enough. Next is the SE Linux status. Let's quickly check what does SE Linux says. As you see, the SE Linux is permissive in this build, which means there is of course security issues. 
So as far I tested this ROM is not suitable as a daily driver. I'm not doing a gaming test because the benchmarks and CPU throttling scores are not that much reliable. Which means I cannot guarantee this ROM can perform as same as its previous build. So anyway this is all about the ROM KT Pro latest symbol edition. Hope this video was helpful to you. Like and raise are always appreciated. Subscribe if you are new here. And I'll catch you in next one.